Wow, just pulling a lot of drag. This one's definitely bigger than the other one, I know that. What's up everybody? Chat Cats Fishing here. Welcome to today's episode. I am here in the early morning fishing South Chickamauga Creek. As you can see, the sun is slowly rising and today we're gonna to be going for carp. Uh, I got three rods, one right here and then two down here. I got a pack bait and some enhancements or enhancers like boilies and everything to put on the hair rig, that type of stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and get all rigged up cast our three rods out and see if we can get a big carp. Okay, so here's our first bait. It's the pack bait that I've used before with three pieces of corn on the hair rig. We're gonna have to loosen the drag, guys, just because I do not have any bait runners. It's just it is what it is. And then for the second bait, I'm gonna use a tiger nut. Okay, now this one has 10 pound line so it's a little bit of a lighter setup. And the last bait we're gonna use is a boilie that my brother Jake sent me. It smells really good. So we're gonna have three different baits on there. The pack bait is the same for everything, but as far as what's on the hair rig, it's all different. And I'm gonna cast this one right there so guys we're gonna get to it we're gonna wait and see what we can get so stay tuned guys we only that took about maybe 10 minutes 10 minutes definitely a good fish here Uh-oh. Trying to coax him over here, guys. This is a big boy here. Hope he's not, hope he doesn't have me in a snag or something. Oh, there he is. Hear that drag? That's what I'm saying, y'all. These carp do not mess around. They do not mess around. The big thing for me is keeping this fish out of, out of the other lines as best as I can. Yeah, he's coming over here. I don't think he's too big, but just powerful. Very powerful fish. These carp, you just gotta let them do their run and then put the heat on them. I feel like in some ways I'm underpowered with all the tackle I have. There he is. Very good fish. He's crossing the other line. 
It's a nice carp, guys. And he's just crossing that other line. That's the problem here. Got him. Nice carp. Nice, beautiful carp. This one came on the tiger nut. Got the hook out. There he is. Go ahead and put him over here. There he goes. Back to the depths. Good fish. Very good fish. Guys, he's pulling a lot of drag. Very good fish. You guys hear that? That thing was screaming drag. This one should not be as hard to get in just because 15 pound line on this reel. Now this one's on the flavored corn Feels pretty good. Wow, just pulling a lot of drag. This one's definitely bigger than the other one, I know that. It's the second fish of the day. I've waited probably a good half hour to get this run. Feels like a pretty good fish. And those carp will run. They will just go and go. This one feels pretty solid, y'all. Feels pretty solid. Oh no, he came off. No. Oh, man, you gotta be kidding me. Ah, oh, man, you have gotta be kidding me. Look at that, man. That was a good fish, guys. Very good fish. Just was not hooked good. <sighs> that was a good fish. Didn't break the line or anything, just came unhooked. That happens. This may be a catfish, guys. Fish on. I think this is a catfish. Yeah, feels like a cat. Yep. Catfish.
There he is. It's a nice channel. Let's see if I can swing him in. That's a good sized channel. This one right on the banana corn or banana flavored corn. Nice fish. Guys, it's been very slow. One carp, one channel cat, and I've probably waited, I don't know, two hours. I ended up rebaiting all of the rods and recasted and within I don't know 10 15 minutes I got that channel cat and that's important to do when the bite's slow especially when carp or cat fishing is use fresh bait we did have one big carp on that just popped off that happens sometimes it's just the nature of the game when fishing you lose some you win some but a very good area to fish in this creek uh, you can see the river is just maybe i don't know 130 150 yards or so down this way and this area is actually a really good area to catch catfish uh, carp and bass bluegill so i'll definitely be back in the near future so as always, give a thumbs up for this video, and we'll see you later.